Day number one, and it's almost in the books here. We got Jason, we got the wife, we got Steve over here, and we got Shane. Hey. You guys know him. He's the one that always tells me how many thumbs ups I have. How many do I have right now, Shane? Uh, one. A hundred. There's one. There's one. Started. There's one on here, guys. So we're here, uh, obviously, at Corvettes of Carlisle. I'm trying to stay under the tent because it's really sunny and really hot out there, but we're right across from AWE. You can see the ZR1 right there. You can probably hear the exhausts going nuts in the background, but yeah, it's going really well so far, guys. We're gonna walk around with Jason and maybe Shane if he feels like walking, or if he even let's still, if he still can walk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see what we got. Long, long time viewer, first time commenter. Let's go. Thank you very much. We're gonna walk around Corvettes of Carlisle. I mean, it's like yeah, it's tough, but uh, let's let's take a little bit of a, yeah. a journey here. So first off, guys, I want you to see the horsepower obsessed booth. Right beside it, we have another one set up for the scrape armor stuff. Check that out. We are partnered, Horsepower Obsessed, Scrape Armor. If you wanna get some radiator grill protection for your C8, what does that say? Is the Z06 production going to start this September? I have heard that it is going to start. Yeah, there's the uh, the Scrape Armor stuff, guys. If you have a C8, you should have something like that. Or uh, better yet, that exact thing. Because uh, <laughs> it will help protect your radiator grills and the it's officially licensed by GM. Now, I had a question about the Z06 production starting in September. I do believe that that is what's supposed to happen. Um, I think you'll actually start to see some getting delivered early around October. But yeah, we'll see. Won't be mine. <laughs> oh, somebody in there just said horsepower obsessed. But uh, guys, we're going to flip the camera around because this is the stuff that really matters. I want to get these guys on camera real quick. Jason, obviously, front seat driver. You guys know him. He's part of the Vet Syndicate group. Shane might as well be part of the Vet Syndicate group. He's he, he's on all the live feeds. You guys know him. Shane Rick. He has the, uh, the he's telling us all the time how many uh, how many likes, how many thumbs up. And they push any big more. Yeah, get more out there. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm he, just glad I got to meet him and also find out how to say his last name. Yes. Because I see it all yeah. the time. I'm like. Her, Rick. Rick, yes. H is silent. Yes, H is silent, silent. yep. <laughs> All right, guys, so we learned something about the uh, the Vet Syndicate and the Horsepower Obsessed uh, commenters today. His last name has a silent H in it. Yes, so. it does. But there's the booth again, guys. Come check us out for sure. We'll be here all weekend. Appreciate all the coverage. Thank you for tuning in, guys. We are here to show you some beautiful Z06s. We're going to walk in here, go over this stuff relatively quickly because we talked about a lot of this last night. But uh, what I'm really interested in... What's to say? I miss you, Kenny Carlisle. Ah, oh, Kenny Carlisle. So, Jason. Yes. Let's have you step in front of this car. Yes. We're going to get Jason's opinion on some of these because we didn't really touch on this too much last night, and I feel like I, I didn't give Jason the camera time that he deserves. So. See, I love white. I absolutely love white. And this pearl is fantastic. The amount of metallic and everything in it just it looks yeah. If I could change one thing, it would be the seats. Yeah. I would. I love Sky Cool Gray. What I would like to do is, is but maybe revert. You know, revert. <laughs> Whoa! Well, this is what happens at Corvettes at Carlisle. Always loud cars, or your truck when I'm driving. I would do uh, black inserts and uh, 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 Sky Cool Gray on the full screen personally. Nice. There's a guy listening to the live stream from right over there. He just commented. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, one other thing somebody commented and said, do I think that the GM is going to make only 10% Z06s of the 2023 allocations? We talked about that earlier, remember? Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, the answer to that is yes. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at probably 2,500 or less, may, at most 3,000, to be honest with you guys. And it's kind of a shame. But, uh, Jason, why don't you, I'm putting you on the spot, why don't you tell me, which one here is your favorite? Now, obviously, we would all take any one of these Z06s, yeah. so let's not do that. Let's talk about which one is actually your favorite. We go any color, like you said. Um, right now, at the moment, in here, I would go amp uh, amplify form right now. However, the main, so my thing with all my cars, I like colors that, that are vivid, that pop, that stick out. That's a car that when it's driving down the freeway and you're on the other side, it's going to catch your eye as yeah. it's driving by. That's yeah. what I like. Um, but last night when we looked at the red mist, all of those lines look so incredible yeah. that 
and it's a close second. The problem is it's not vivid. Yeah. So for me, it's the only reason it kind of holds back. I mean, I like the color maybe better than the Amplify Orange, but the fact that it doesn't just pop when you're yeah. on the other side of the freeway or you're driving down the road, it's the only reason it holds me back over that. Yep. Um, so course, yeah. I had a question about uh, Camaros. Oddly enough, at Corvettes Carlisle, Ready on Three asked if I have any information on a seventh generation Camaro, and I actually don't. I haven't heard anything about that, but uh, definitely an interesting question. And the other question was: Is the 10% Z06 allocation info for following the 2023 model year? Is that going to be that way for all of the model years? And the answer to that is no. I have heard that after 2023, it will ramp up. So hopefully, it's way more than 10% moving into the future. But let's have Jason step over in front of the car that he says is his nice or his most favorite. Let's take a look at this one because actually, I'm sorry, I don't want to step in front of a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people want to look at this car. But guys, this is one of my favorites as well. But Jason, again, though, we got to talk about the thing that you mentioned last night. Oh no, shit! You guys are on YouTube. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. We are on YouTube. The, the difference in color on the caliper, and I don't know how yeah. it's going to come over on, it's, you know, on the camera, on the phone. But this is much lighter than this. Is a more of a copperish uh, yeah. orange than than the amplified orange is. It is a very the same kind of material as edge red. It's almost like a flat red. Yes. yes. And it does not match at all. No. I mean. I honestly, if I got this color, I would not even get orange calipers. I'd probably get black or maybe yellow to be crazy. But like I said last night, guys, in that video, the, the side profiles of these cars is so, they're so different. And actually somebody said on the comment section, absolute nailed it, said the C8 is an absolute gorgeous car until you park it beside a Z06. But see, I feel kind of the same way with the Stingray and, and like a Z06 at Grand Sport with the white ball. Um, I love the Stingray, but when you see it next to, uh, you know, a, a C7 Z06 or Grand Sport, that, that wider body makes it neater. You know what yeah. I mean? And I feel like it's a lot of the same. This is a little sleeker. This one's a little neater, neater, nice, neater, you know, a little yeah. beefier. But I have a C8 Stingray coming, so, I mean, I can't hate on it. Right. Say I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought it. Ready on 3 said, is there any new colors coming, like purple or anything like that and unfortunately there's not for the uh for the c8 z06 hopefully maybe 2024 brings some new colors but for now we got the uh really the carbon flash black which is over there and uh the uh yeah the why why am i trying yeah white white power white pearl trica all right guys so ken ken just donated 50 dollars to the channel thank you ken 4HPO and Justin and Amber, all three excellent reporting. Love, true Corvette people. Thank you so much, guys. We got News 21 here. We might want to shift over a little. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, they are actually doing real news over here, so we're gonna. We can do a live. We're, we're we're gonna move on. So let's look at one thing that. Okay. So I need to find it. Okay. So right here, that is the Corvette yeah. flag. Yeah. Which so, I know, I think you've mentioned that before, but I, I didn't know until a while back. I actually, I did know that, but I also pointed out, I don't know if you saw this, the, the little Jake logo on the aluminum hat on the ceramic, carbon ceramic rotors. Yeah, so if we come over here, and this, this is kind of cool, it's a little bit of an Easter egg, but we're going to walk behind the, the news channel team here. <laughs> so check this out, guys. If you haven't seen the little, and actually they did move this car, so it might not be visible now. Uh, is there enough light in here? They moved, they moved it so I don't see it on there now, but there is a little Jake logo on the carbon ceramic aluminum hats. Dang it. They moved it so I don't see it. You see it? All right, so here it is. Yeah, there. Uh, it's right there. Yeah, there it is. C8 Jake logo, just one single logo on the aluminum hat of the carbon ceramic rotor. I love it. it it's like the little attention to detail is freaking amazing. Yeah. But uh, obviously we saw these cars a good bit last night. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, it will be linked in the description of this one a little later. All these Z06s are still hanging out here. Of course, this is my favorite. We'll, we'll check this out real quick. And then we gotta say hi to Ben. He's a subscriber. He managed to make it on the live. I thought you were gonna leave. You waited. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, this, this is literally the spec I would get. 
Yes. So we'll check this out real quick, guys. But again, we kind of looked at this already last night. It is on the, the thumbnail, though, so I wanted to kind of give you. What, what do you guys think? The white pearl white 70th is my favorite, but I'm not ordering a 3LZ just to get that color. Uh, you actually have to order the 70th anniversary to get that color, which is even worse. But guys, if you're liking the content so far, please smash that thumbs up button. We're trying to bring you all kinds of uh, Corvettes at Carlisle coverage. So if you're not here, you can actually experience it as if you were. So, uh, dark, like we were just talking about last night when we were doing the, we were the <laughs> yeah, Holy Woods so here. Dark. It was, and you, you, no matter how you could see it on there, it was 50% darker for us. Like, yeah. I think you guys think it Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the phone, the phone actually made it look like it was a lot brighter than it really was. Uh, I couldn't see anything. I had to look through my phone to make sure I wasn't tripping over Z06s. Yes. But, uh, we're, uh, right around what, five o'clock now. So people are starting to kind of pack up. Yeah. yeah. People are, are packing up, but I wanted to give you guys a quick view of the Z06s again, some of the HPO tent, and uh, I don't know, what else What else should we do? Justin, did we ever ask the subscribers what, what their favorite color is or what their choice is on some of these? Because as I've walked around and seen some of them now in person, more so than just from the NCM bash, I see a difference in some of the colors that weren't available then, yeah. you know, a few months ago versus now. So what well, are your color choices? Let's see. Let us know. Uh, comment here, longtime viewer, great show, love your info. I happen to be number one at my dealership. No word on whether it will be built or and delivered. Can't wait. You guys do a great job. Thank you very much. Can you go back to the Elkhart Lake Blue? Right yes, there. we can. And yes, so Shane asked, what is your favorite color? We're going to go over these colors again. Guys, this is the 70th anniversary edition, so it is the white pearl metallic tri-coat. Which is, it's dis it's bespoke for the 70th. Right. And at the NCM bash, they accidentally had a Z51 spoiler on the Stingray that was in the original Cadillac white that was a similar color. But you could see the difference. Creamy. It. it was a lot creamier, and, and right? And when I approached the paint engineer over the difference, that's when it came out and said, no, it's bespoke. But that was from the old paint scheme. And we didn't think anyone would notice. And it, there's definitely a difference in the hue and the amount of the metallics that are in the spoke for the 70s. It looks creamier, right? The much old, brighter, old ones. Yeah. Much brighter. The yeah. old one is creamier and yeah. a tip more yellow. Yeah. All right. So that's that's the tri-coat. It, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between that and just the regular white on camera. But here, again, yeah, the, the, the live videos don't do any of this justice. I know, guys. I'm trying to bring it to you live just to, to make sure you can do, you can see as much as we are actually at the show. But this is also carbon flash which basically looks black on camera and then of course over there is the orange z06 and then uh elkhart lake blue is over here someone asked to see the elkhart lake blue z06 again definitely a nice looking car i do look like the color i'm not typically a big elkhart lake blue fan but it does look really good in this configuration and then of course the Red Mist, which has one of the absolute nicest side profiles I've ever seen. We'll get a little closer to that one because there is some light coming through. You can see on the hood. Yeah, check that out. That looks really good. That's the Red Mist. And then of course over here is the Silver. This is the, the this is this is uh, silver flare. This is, silver flare. This also is hypersonic, known as gray. hypersonic yeah. gray right. by me. <laughs> that's silver. It's that's silver. hypersonic gray right there. Jason thinks that they're basically the same color. They are the same. Color. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, but how I missed this, I don't understand. I literally walked past hypersonic gray. Go look at hypersonic. Gray. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was dark. It was very dark. I'm going to use that excuse because I can't, I can't go through life to saying that. Yeah. Um, I do actually really like Rapid Blue, but uh, there is no Rapid Blue C8 Z06s here. Yes, the Red Mist does look very good. Check this out, though, guys. Doesn't that look like a good opening area for a battery and or hybrid motors? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm yeah. plugging that one. I'm good with that since I'm I, I really like the cut in half car though. I think yeah. that's cool. And this is just the regular stingray. This is just the stingray, yep. Yeah. But look at those radiators. They're already beat up in there. The freaking thing's cut in half. Not even on the street. Yeah. Alright, so what else what else can we show the viewers here? Um, Lead the way, Jason. Give us something good. I'm putting you under the you would have 
Seagal? Yeah, let's let's go take a look at Sagala designs, guys. Um, we we right there. All right. All right. We're gonna walk through. I think this is yeah. So again, guys, it's like you're here at Corvettes Carlisle with us. Thank you for the content. You're very welcome. Thank you. Inside there? Oh yeah, yeah, on the top. That's cool. That's. Oh, check out the. Uh, I thought that was a vent, like a roof scoop, and I was like, no, it's not a roof scoop. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that looks like some sort of arrow. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, right here. All right, so over here. Sagala, you guys know. And they are doing um, in the, the vertical door install. Hello. Hello. Hi, how you're, are you? you do YouTube, right? <laughs> well, you're, you're on YouTube now. Do you know who I am? Um, no, don't look. She, like, well, <laughs> she doesn't, but uh, I know horsepower. who you are. Yeah, horsepower obsessed. <laughs> okay. Justin, well, horsepower obsessed. It would, it would have been a lot better if you would have known. Would you want to live chat? Would you like to say hello? Yeah, say hello. To all the viewers? They, I, I'm sure they already know if you're a YouTube channel. Well, we're seeing all the designs. We're here from California. So we just went through a three-day trip to get here. Three days? Yeah, because yeah, I don't think you can fit this on the plane, right? No, you can't. So it was, we're exhausted, but we're yeah. here. We were excited to be here, so. Is your hotel at least close? That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And then we have the award body design. Yeah, that's what we were coming over to see. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Nice meeting you. I don't know who you are next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they have some carbon fiber pieces, of course. Yep. Um, and then they have the wide body design for the CA Corvette, which looks really cool. It does. Dude, I posted this car and it freaking blew up on instagram it yeah did so good like, what do you off guard it's just like so many people like it what do you guys think of a wide body design like this um let me know let's see what's this say is there any silver lining to not getting the first model year yeah uh, there's always a silver lining to that and honestly if i wasn't a youtuber i would not even consider getting the first model yeah, year of the Z06. Gonna have all kinds of issues. It's going to have issues yeah. for well, sure. Not all kinds, but it's going to have some issues. Regardless. Even if it's bugs. small, yeah. yeah, little bugs. Need to be yeah. Out. Right, and that's the thing is, if you wait until 2014, most of them will be worked out. But as a YouTuber, I feel like I got to have it pretty early on, and that's what we're that's what we're shooting for here, guys. So, and, and for uh, Jason, our front seat driver, earlier when we were making our rounds, he stopped off at Sagala here, and they were doing the. Vertical, vertical doors, doors brand, the Lambo door install here on site, and they will fly out, they will travel. It is warranty, what they say, lifetime, Jason? Yeah, yeah. So they stand behind their warranty, they stand behind their install, and we've got a segment on his channel, and you guys can check that out here a little bit later, and see part of the install process and those guys actually working on it live. Nice. So very cool, they offer a good service, and they'll fly out, and they say they can do two to three a day flying out and meeting each location depending on the flight times in between right. so nice we're definitely available for services yeah. sweet so guys i'm getting a lot of good comments about the wide body design here it actually looks very good the louver vents right here yeah fiber. louver really nice very uh lamborghini-esque yes uh gives obviously the real deep dish wheels look real good on the c8 guys if you're liking the content so far please smash that thumbs up button let us know because uh, we're going to try to cover Cor uh, Corvettes and Carlisle content for you all the time. Yeah. Me and Jason and uh, Shane, I, how long are you going to be here? Are you going to be here all week? I'll, I'll be here through Sunday evening when we fly out. So the whole yeah, extent of the Carlisle. And one point for this though, this kit, is the roof line here. It, it has a defined arrow aspect to it. Oh, yeah, it and does. Most other kits do That's what that is over there. From the front. That's what that is over there. Yeah, it's Very exactly. interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so yeah, uh, Amber and Ken, I guess, have a really good point. I should tell you where my spot is, and it is IG-117, IG-118, and I guess technically IG-117, or 19 now. So right beside AWE exhausts, right beside the Chevrolet tent. So if you guys come out, be sure to check us out. But uh, other than that, we also have AMT Custom Designs right here who has my C6 Corvette Z06 sitting right there. They were actually working on some... Uh, cool engine dress up parts. So you guys know AMT. They did some really awesome work with the C5 Corvette giveaway I did. Um, this is my car. This is not necessarily a giveaway, but we'll we'll see. You never know. We'll see what happens. What do you think of the wing? I like it. Like I think it looks cool. Yeah, what do you guys think of the wing? Carbon fiber wing and arrow 
here. Jason wants to know. He he has to know what you think of the wing. Did, he he literally know. can't. He's not gonna be able to sleep tonight if, if you don't tell him. I mean, I may not sleep anyway, but I, <laughs> I, I won't definitely sleep. But I think this is very unique. I like it. You know, on the white body, maybe not on a bay, you know, maybe not on a standard stingray, but on this car, I, like I think it looks very unique. All right, guys. We have 105 watching and only 41 thumbs ups. Something's going on. Guys, I'm up here for live. Shane. I can't give you the thumbs up comments. Thumbs up for Shane. Please smash that thumbs up. Like the channel. Subscribe to Justin, front seat driver Jason, and protective dad pranks. Yes. Look, oh, look at that. Come on, hit, on hit the boys up. I, I, I haven't seen him. I know he was mowing. <laughs> God, he's mowing. He's We're out here looking mowing, at Corvettes dude. and he's mowing. Yeah. All right, guys. So thumbs up, please. What do you guys think of this thing? We're gonna move on. Maybe one more, one more booth before we call it a day. Are we open to what booth? Lead the I way. Would love Lead the to way. Go check out Aralari Wheels. Yeah. Okay. I really, really highly recommend their customer service from Chet. Their products are amazing, and they're right across here from us. Yeah. Okay. I don't know neighbors. if any of their customer wheels are still here. If they left for the day. Yeah. Down but the end. I would definitely like to check out their booth. You guys enjoy. Uh, we'll be here. Wait, okay. wait, we'll be you wait. Here's street speed. We, yeah. we got to get street oh. speed. Mike, what's going on, man? This is a live video, so anything you say can and will be used against you. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Check it out. That'll be it. Yeah, it is. It's tire kicker day. It's hot. Yeah, it is. This is a beautiful ZR1, by the way. Can I have it? Can I have it? They go to InShaneDesigns.com where every $1 spent is going to be to win this and our MCA. You have Shit. never rehearsed that. No, no, not one. Can I have this car? Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> buy a shirt and then I'll just pretend like I'm... <laughs> Don't say like, that. Yeah, Good God. They, all, they already think that anyway. Uh, Everybody thinks these giveaways are a sham. I don't know why. Like, you, you've given away like 40 cars. You'd still be able to do it if it was fake. Yeah. Like, come on now. There's no way I wouldn't have been caught by now. <laughs> right. Like, there's no way. With, all, with those 87,000 new IRS agents, you'd be, yeah. you'd be done. Me, you'd be done. Plenty of people ask me on a very regular basis, could I somehow like get that car? And yeah, like, no. no. You got to go through I'm, the... I'm you gotta... trying not to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, man, I'll let you go. See you, dude. Thanks, guys. thanks for... Yeah, for sure. Give me a rev. Maybe a burnout. <laughs> TRX LOL, I love it. I didn't even notice it. That's a that's an auto vlog plug. <laughs> that's an auto vlog vlog plug, guys. If you don't know who that is, that's funny. That is hilarious. Then he was talking about it last night. Did he get his plate? Yeah. That, okay. Now it makes sense. So Mike Auto Vlog raced Street Speed in his. He had a Ford F one fifty that was supercharged, and he raced Street Speed stock TRX. And he had that license plate that said TRX LOL. So when he lost, no, he told man, Mike, he's like, I'm no. just going to give you the license plate. And then he went out and bought a TRX. I thought it was it was great. That's what he was saying last yeah. night. He was, okay, I got it. All right, guys. So we just saw Street Speed. We got to catch up with him a little bit. If you like that idea, please smash that thumbs up button. We are here to bring you all of Corvettes of Carlisle. That includes Street Speed, of course. And Neighbor Rich. Maybe we talk to Neighbor Rich. I, we can't yeah, let him. We can't let him go without anything. All right, so, neighbor Rich, hey, how you doing? I have met you one time in my entire hey, life. Hey, if, if you remember my name, I will. I want to see you talk. Ah, uh, nope. You would be wrong. <laughs> Justin. Ah, Justin. I was gonna be so impressed. I was gonna be so impressed. It's all right though. It's it's been. It was a long time ago. Yep. And we had a little fun in Mexico. What color was the yeah, C8? It, it, that was red. Okay. All right. So he does That's obviously the, remember. The worst that. color, right? It was, what's that? Yeah, the worst color, right? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We uh, know only the only Corvette for him is red. There's no, right. other there is no other color. That's right. They should only come in red. That's yeah. right. They had it right in the beginning. Hey, yes. That was it. <laughs> All right, Rich. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. It was really close. We're we're getting all kinds of comments about high five for neighbor Rich. So, guys, all right, you guys take care. You too. All right, we'll see you. All right, so we're gonna make our way over to Errolari, guys, before we wrap this one up. 
Oh, there's a Ford Mustang. How'd that get in here? No, I'm just joking. I, no, I made... that's not a Mustang. It hasn't hit anybody yet. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, guys. So, like I said, we're trying to bring you Corvettes of Carlisle in a live manner. I know the live video quality gets really smashed on YouTube. I don't know why. Uh, ask YouTube. I, yeah. I I do my absolute best to bring you the best possible quality. It could but... be delayed by the stealth wrap over yes. here. Yeah, let's be delayed. I, I, the ZR1. This yeah. is a C6 ZR1 that is stealth wrapped, guys. Do you believe that all yellow cars should be stealth wrapped? I, I, I do. I do believe this. I like this color, hands down, better than the Accelerate, but the Stealth Wrap is just excellent. I plan on Stealth Wrapping mine whenever my allocation comes yeah. in. <laughs> You're getting uh, yellow? No, not yellow. Uh, my original color was the Ceramic Matrix Metallic. Okay. Uh, but since my first top five colors have grown, I like uh, Red Mist. Yeah. I like the new 70th White. And I'm actually holding out because during the NCM bash, I kind of got a little nugget of information or an Easter egg that a purple oh, was in the works, something darker. And when I mentioned um, the McLaren purple, the engineer just gave me a big smile. And, and I like that. That was the one. response that I got. I like that. And then, of course, you guys know. See you. Hey, hey, See hey, you. Hey. And of course, you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And of course, you guys know that there was the horrible failure of the auction of the NFT green. Yeah, yeah. that didn't do well. Amazing right? Only color, of color, but yeah. the push behind it was yeah. just a failure. Not, yeah, and not I'm hoping good. that that becomes a 2024 color. Yeah, I think it will. I thought it would. I Initially, even them offering that NFT color, I, I assumed that was their way of testing the waters to make it a 2024 color. If that's a 24 color, I am selling my 23 immediately <laughs> and buying the 24 yeah. get on some All right, list. it's on video now, Jason. Dude, you can't I, you can't go back now. I don't need to go back. That's it, man. That's like my dream color. And even on my Lambo, man, my dream was the uh, Verde Mantis. Uh, or no, Verde Ithaca. Yeah. Which is oh, the, the Gallardo green, which is slightly lighter than the than the Huracan green. But what we do know moving forward is that GM is going to keep the 14 colors that they currently yeah. have. They won't drop any from right. there. So now it's just adding which yep. color is going to be new from this point forward. So, so yeah. with all that said, do we stealth wrap yellow? The C6 ZR1 says absolutely. Guys, check this out. Again, I know quality is not the yeah, best yeah. on these live videos, but look at that. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the stealth wrap on cars. I did it on my red one. But guys, if you're liking the content so far, please smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> less talk more picks so we, we got to talk to jason and uh shane less i guess we got we got to show more cars you guys can talk in the background but there's got to be more cars now i want to wait for the 2024 yeah man if they give us green i will cry tears of joy i i totally agree so guys we are here at uh corvettes of carlisle where there are a bunch of corvettes of course we're here to try to bring you uh, some awesome content but lastly it's Shane's final. It is Shane's final wish to go talk to Aralari or uh, Chet. Yep, Chet from Aralari. Um, I don't own a C8 yet. I'm still waiting. But all the research that I've done and all the people I've talked to that have bought their products, customer service is exemplary. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, talking to him today for a couple hours, amazing. He divides time for you. His products are clean. If there's a mistake, he'll fix it. He'll actually pay. If you don't like the color that arrives, they'll actually pay to have it fixed at your location or you can send it back to them. Outstanding customer service and their products. Well, most of them have left, but you'll see what's yeah. left over here. Yeah. Just amazing wheels. All right. So I, I do want to, I want to talk to, I want to talk to Judy one time because hey Judy, hey. Hey. We're, we're, we're live. So I wanted to mention a little Long Beach red thing. But yeah, go, no, finish up your pictures. We'll be back. <clears throat> we'll talk to Chet for a second. Chet, we are live. You're live, Chet. Hey. It, it, Shane wanted to come over here and talk about your exemplary we wheels. We talked earlier, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Loved your product. Yeah, man, this guy is something else. <laughs> <laughs> he was on, uh, there was a guy doing a wide body kit. Yeah. Epic and, Owen from Epic yeah. Dreams Challenge, EDC. Right, right. and uh, he was like, so apparently I need wheels. He messaged to him yep. in the comments and he said, Oh, check out Arrow Lori. And sure enough, he calls and now we're like best buddies and we're <laughs> doing the wheels and we're like, it's going to be awesome. So 
check out his channel. Uh, there will be more about what he's doing, and it will be a very, very, very special set. Keep in mind, this is a wide box. It's not normal off. Yeah. It's something that you know we are expert at. Like this is, um, we do like really insane offsets and crazy stuff. Like nice. Do, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at some of your wheels because I know on Judy's car here, and I'm gonna get you on camera, Judy. Oh, no. Say say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, last night I made the mistake of saying that Long Beach red was an old person's color. Actually, I didn't say it. It was Jason. Yeah, I just Jason, by the way. I just I just <laughs> I just agreed. The bus just ran over me. Yeah, I I agreed with Jason. But she proved me wrong. So she shows up with a car that has black aero lorry wheels, a high wing spoiler, the ground 5VM ground effects, and of course, the thing looks freaking phenomenal. How could anybody possibly think this is an old person spec? Judy proves me wrong. An absolute fantastic uh, subscriber too. And uh, we, we got a signature for you, right? Yes, sir. She brought out a t-shirt for all of her favorite people to sign. I love the idea. Uh, I don't know. It's, you, you definitely made me uh, say sorry for that one. But it was mostly Jason. Let's be honest. This, he said it. He said no, it. I just agreed. Me, I, was, I was at home last night. <laughs> well, thank you, I you're you're very you know, welcome. I, I didn't. Eh, whatever. I'll, I'll just tell you. Yeah, I, I know. It was, it was all just kind of a. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, I'll just show we were you. having fun. But at the, at the same <laughs> time, I just want to make sure everybody knows. That's a cool car. Very, very cool car. But. I will say bye for real this time. Thanks, Judy. Bye. There's no bad color. All right. So a C7 ZR1, guys. We've seen these on video before. I do like it, This is, of course, the star, star car here. He has the C7 ZR1, the C6 ZR1, and the C4 ZR1 sitting right there, as well as a lot of other really, really gorgeous pieces of machinery here. All right, guys. One last time, if you could smash that thumbs up button, I think we're gonna wrap this, wrap this up right here in front of the Aerolari place because there's only a couple other cars up here with with interesting wheels. But I think we're all done for today. So, guys, this is the day number one at Corvettes at Carlisle, and uh, I think we're all gonna sign off here. So. If we could get Jason for one one second. I do. Yeah. What's up? Just say bye to the camera. Oh, everybody have a great great weekend. Bye. What, what is today? Great week? <laughs> I don't know. It, it Thursday. Like, okay, Today's Thursday. Fine. Today is day one. Night. Day one of Corvettes of Carlisle. We will see you guys tomorrow for day number two. I don't know. Have a good day, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. But while we're while we're backing out here, smash that thumbs up button, guys. Come over, check out the merchandise at my booth, IG118, right beside the AWE guys. Definitely come out, say hi. Appreciate it, Chet. Thank you, man. You got it.